Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rafael from iFix Logic Boards and today we're working on iPhone 6 that is stuck in DFU mode, I mean or recovery mode. Uh, it doesn't restore because it's getting error 4013 which means typically it means it's a NAND chip issue which is the memory itself. So let's remove the memory. Let's use our new programmer tool. I prepared that before. <laughs> Flash it and put it back on hopefully it will fully restore this is obviously not a data recovery this is just to get the phone running so let's try it out and hopefully we'll get it running all right so this is the memory and first before removing it I'm gonna heat it up a little bit and start removing this uh, underfill glue whatever you want to call it uh, so it's easier to remove the chip and so it won't actually remove this uh, these components with it I'm just gonna show a little bit because when I'm recording uh, through the microscope I only see through one eye and that's not good here so this is the idea just scrubbing out the glue at low heat to loosen it up and I'm gonna do that around the whole chip and I'll show you after it's done So right now, let's try to remove it. Uh, this looks like a 16 gigabyte chip. Um, just in case I would need to replace it, I do have a few dead boards that I can use the chip from. So let's put some flux around the chip. Okay, so let's heat it up. I have a razor blade just in case. Can't really tell much through the camera. I don't know, see through both eyes, and you can see the angle from the camera from the DSLR. This is an Icon D5300 with a 24 prime lens that was made in the 80s. Let's get this cable out. Here's our NAND. Here's the empty board. So I'm gonna clean up the uh, the pads and prepare for attaching the either new chip or flash chip. Let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm just using uh, leaded solder to tin the pads. Places where there's like too much, a lot of glue. Like, I don't know, can you see that? And that's all glue, like there's usually a lot of it on the sides. I would like to scrape it off a little bit so the new chip can just sit down because the balls are going to be a little bit smaller than from the factory but honestly let's get to the fun part which is the memory chip itself I'm going to clean the pads before putting it into the EIP programmer so I'm just gonna uh, put some solder on the pads so it's easier to remove it to clean the pads flat so they sit nicely in the, uh, in the programmer Clean this one off. And this is what we got. And 
And now we're going to put it in the programmer. So how this VIP programmer works, you have this socket for the actual memory itself. You need to be careful which way you put it in. So you want to short it out. That's it. Lock it. Place it in this box here. Magical box. And there's a micro USB in the back. Let's plug it into the computer. I'm getting some lights. So while this is plugged in, I'm gonna use my phone to do screen capture. Uh, so you can see here, here's the software. I just downloaded a new version. Solve error 4013. So I just clicked on uh, iPhone 6, because that's what it is. And uh, you can see the instructions are click erase all. So here's the serial number, which I'm gonna copy just in case. And it shows you 64 bit. 16 gigabytes so what I'm going to do now is go here to erase all do you really want to delete the NAND yes it's erasing and it's doing its thing operation done unplug this from power pop it open memory. Let's rebuild this puppy. So here I have a stencil and when I'm rebuilding I like to use this tape which is air duct tape. Uh, it's you know heat resistant. It's pretty strong which is good. So I like to Take the chip to the bottom. Line the holes. I'm actually planning to do my own stencil for iPhone 6 Plus Touch ICs. Uh, I want to make them a little bit thicker, uh, more heat resistant, and at the end I would like them to make a little bit bigger balls than these kinds of eBay stencils that are available. I think that would be good. So I'll see, maybe I'll have them soon. You can see I have the balls aligned in the stencil. I'm gonna put some soldering paste. Okay, fire up the hot air. Let's make some balls. every time I do it. So I can peel this piece. And there are all new balls. I'm just gonna clean it. Adds a little bit. I'm going to put some fresh flux. This one I don't have to worry about the alignment too much because the spacing between the balls is so big that once the chip heats up, the solder gets hot and we just, you know, surface tension will just bring it in the spot and we'll be all good. So let's solder this sucker back. 
try to make it so hopefully you can maybe see the chip going down. Okay, now the chip is moving on its own. That means the solder underneath got melted and the chip just jumped in on its spot. And usually after it does that, I like to have for like about five seconds and then just let it cool. Okay, so let's put this back in its housing and try to restore and hopefully we'll not get that error anymore. So now I'm going to plug the battery. It's probably going to go straight to DFU mode because there's absolutely no software on it. Plug it to iTunes. Let's restore. Restore. Yes. Extracting software. So I'm just going to let it restore. Keep this camera rolling. And hopefully it's going to restore. Okay, we got error 40. What's error 40? That's from the software as far as I know. Uh, this is the chip. Uh, when was erasing it? It removed this uh, serial number as well. Luckily I saved it uh, on the computer so I reprogrammed it with the serial number. I also reprogrammed uh, another um, memory just in case maybe this one's just bad because you know I don't know. So I reprogrammed this one, which is also 16 gig, I believe, um, with the same uh, serial number. So I'm going to put it back on and hopefully it will restore them. Reading that error 40 is popular for the, the VP uh, box, whatever the box is called. I just replaced uh, the NAND chip with a uh, donor one, put the serial number on it. And now let's see if this will work because uh, I was getting all kinds of errors with the other one. Plug in the battery, connecting to iTunes, the phone is detected, All right, we got this phone restored. Uh, I had to replace the actual uh, NAND. Uh, it restored, has activation screen, um, Wi-Fi works. So this is all for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later in the next video.